Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about all of the hidden features on the BMW 1 Series and you have joined me today with my 2005 BMW 130i so let's get into things okay so first thing we're going to start on then is the key fob so this is just a standard bmw key fob it's the same on the 3 and the 5 series of the same era but this actually does hold quite a few little nice features and some you're probably not aware of now obviously we can lock with the center button we can unlock with the button at the top and we can open the trunk with the button at the bottom but this is all fairly standard stuff, which I'm pretty sure most of you already know. Now, what a few of you may not be aware of is the fact that you can actually roll down the windows using the key fob. So if you hold down the unlock button, you will see the windows roll down. Now, if I was to continue to hold down the lock button, you will notice the sunroof opens. Now you do all that just from holding down the unlock button and if you haven't already guessed, you can actually roll up the windows and the sunroof in our case by holding down the lock button. As you'll see, the windows will go up and then the sunroof will close as you can see I'm still holding down the lock button that is fully closed now some of you may have noticed the wing mirrors retracting as well that is because I have the power fold mirrors and I have them coded to the key now say for example they are folded in like they are right now when you go to unlock the car now bear in mind you don't have to hold down the unlock button you just have to press it once and as you will see the wing mirrors will retract now another little cool feature with the key fob is that it actually contains a physical key. Now let's say for example the battery in your key fob decides to go flat. Well with this key blade you can actually still gain entry to your car. So all you need to do like a regular key is insert it into the lock and there you see the door is now unlocked and there goes the alarm. Now because this particular one series does not actually have a physical key lock in the tailgate, if you wanted to gain access to the trunk, all you'd need to do is just gain access to the car itself with inserting the physical key blade. And then all you'd need to do is just fold down the seats. Now then the next feature that is not that obvious, if I must say so myself, is on the interior and it is to do with the wing mirrors themselves now because these are in fact as you know power fold mirrors obviously we can do it with the key we can retract them and fold them back out again but if you actually take a look down here on the driver's side obviously because we're in the UK driver's side is on the right side of the car if we take a look down here, there is a couple of switches. So this one is to uh, alter the angle of the glass itself, uh, but, but we don't want to pay attention to that. We, what we want to pay attention to is these two switches here. Now that one there is actually a button. So if you go ahead and press that one, as you'll see, the wing mirrors fold in. And then if we press it again, the wing mirrors will fall back out again. Now that is a good way to tell if you have power forward mirrors or not, you'll have that button right there. Now, what I wanna talk about this switch for is obviously this is primarily to toggle between the right and left mirrors to, like I said, alter the glass itself. But if you actually have this all the way over to the driver's side, so in our case, all the way over to the right side, and then you go ahead and pop it into reverse, you will see that this wall mirror will lower to the ground to help you reverse. Obviously, when you pop out to reverse, it will in fact go back up again. 
Now then, the final little hidden feature with the wing mirrors, if of course you have the power fold wing mirrors, is the fact that these wing mirrors will retract out on their own if they are obviously folded in, if you go above 25 miles per hour. So if for whatever reason you have these tucked away, when you drive, you go over 25 miles per hour, these will automatically fold out again. Obviously, you know, it's a safety feature. You can get this coded out, um, but in my opinion, you shouldn't really be driving faster than 25 miles per hour with no wing mirrors. Okay then, so the next little feature that I want to show you is how to access your various menus. And this is especially important if you do not have the iDrive system. As you can see, I do not have a iDrive system in this BMW 1 Series. So to access your menus, all you need to do is go and insert your key and then turn your ignition on. And then what you're going to want to do is use this arrow button here just to toggle up and as you can see we have our check control messages in here this is where it will show any faults that are occurring you know say for example a uh, headlight bulb is out or if we are low on fuel or low on washer fluid and so forth uh, and that that's where you'll see it just in there uh, to access it all you need to do is press the bc button as you can see check ok that means we have no faults so if we keep scrolling, you know, if for whatever reason it does go off here, we all we need to do is just press this, uh, you know, scroll wheel again. So as you can see, various different menus in here. Uh, probably the most important one is your oil. To check your oil, all you need to do is press the little button there. And as you can see, our, our oil level is in fact okay. So that's all good. Now bear in mind you may or may not need to have your engine running for your oil level to register. Um, so that's something worth noting. Let's have a look at a few little other features. So that is our pre tire pressure uh, monitor that will detect if we have a sudden uh, drop in tire pressure. And that, that is used with the uh, ABS sensors to determine the drop in pressure. Uh, this is obviously just how to set the time and date and this is our service info so if we go ahead and select that with the bc button we can scroll through our service information and this is how we reset all of our service reminders so obviously we have oil we have front brakes rear brakes spark plugs um, service uh, I believe that's uh, state inspection for emissions, uh, brake fluid, and that looks like cabin filter, and then we are back to engine oil. So again, pretty standard stuff if you know these cars fairly well. But the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to access the secret menu. Now, this is something that is not readily available for the average car user. This is something that typically the... Uh, BMW technicians will use in the dealership, but it is something that you can actually access yourself. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get to the secret menu right now. Now then, all you need to do is while the ignition is on, is hold down the trip odometer button right down there. And you're going to have to hold it for around 10 seconds. So you'll see that triangle, then you will see the service intervals, and then you should see that screen just there. That is exactly where we want to be. Now, what you're going to want to do is add up these numbers at the bottom. So we have eight plus eight plus two plus nine plus nine. So that is, if my math is correct, 36. Is it 36? Yes, it is 36. And now that we know what our number is, so in our case, it is 36, we can now access a few little features. So for example, if we go ahead and hold this down until we are greeted with this, and then if we keep pressing the button again until we get to number 19, as you can see, lock on, it will then ask you to input a code. I'm gonna keep pressing this until I reach 36. There we go, 36. And then once you are back to here, then if we hold this down, again 
and then if we scroll to number seven, you will then be greeted with your coolant temperature. So as you can see, there is no coolant temperature gauge on this car. You know, we don't even have an oil temperature. All we have is the fuel gauge. Uh, but this is actually the coolant temperature and that is exactly how you get to display this. Now there is in fact a couple of other features. I'll show you how to do a, a cluster sweep as well, which is you know a pretty cool thing to do uh, just to make sure that all your cluster is working as it should. And all you need to do to do this is go back to the secret menu again. Just hold this down for 10 seconds until you get to there and then you're going to want to hold this down for two seconds until you agree to with that and then you see ki test and then if we go ahead and press it as you can see it will do a cluster test and this is just essentially just testing all of the needles and ensuring that all of the lights are illuminating as they should now there is of course a lot of other features in the combi that you can access through the secret menu um, but the main one to be honest is the coolant temperature obviously because we have no gauge um, it is a good idea to check it periodically just to make sure that your uh, engine is not overheating and it is sitting at the operating temperature now then the next little feature that i want to talk about is on the rear view facing mirror now bear in mind this may not be available for everyone depending on what spec your car is but on this particular uh, rear view facing mirror we have three buttons just there labeled one two and three and essentially what these are is a means of connecting your car to anything that requires a key fob so say for example some electric gates or let's say for example a electric garage door you can actually code these you can actually code them to these buttons so all you need to do say for example you roll up to your house you press that button there your electric gates open and then you press that button there and your electric garage door opens now to be honest these aren't really used that much you know not many people actually um, get their get you know get their use out of these buttons um, but you know it's it's a cooler feature to have and um, a lot of people aren't actually aware of you know what these are even for but if you had um, wondered before that is in fact what they're for essentially just to to code to anything that would um, you know that would need a uh, that would need a key fob of some kind um, so yes yeah, a nice little feature to have um, but it's something that you are not going to use a whole lot if you know you don't have electric gates or an electric garage door now then the final feature that i want to talk about is the coolant bleeding procedure now this is only applicable if you have the electric water pump that is on the n52 engine now essentially all you need to do to bleed the air out of the cooling system is to insert the key turn the ignition on don't start the car and then you want to turn the fans on you don't need to turn them on full blast but then you want to turn the temperature up to the max as you can see 28 degrees celsius and then what you want to do is hold down the accelerator pedal for 15 seconds and then after you've done that if you come back to the engine bay the electric water pump should be on and you should start hearing some air being driven out of the cooling system there we go it's forcing the air out then if you just leave this for around 15 minutes you should have the air completely drained out of your cooling system. Now bear in mind, like I said, this is obviously only the case with the engines that have the electric water pump. Okay then, so this has been the hidden features on the BMW 1 Series. I hope you guys have learned something today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos on this car, consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in that next video. Peace. Thank you.